Hi guys, this is Im Tariq from netsco.com. Few days ago, I made this uh, small tutorial series on to check out and react js integration and this was for client side part only and uh, some of you guys uh, were asking how to proceed from this and uh, how to integrate this on uh, server side as well so i decided to make this video to show you how to integrate this in server side i'm going to be using uh, laravel application to implement this in server so let's get started first of all we are going to install laravel application in documentation of laravel go to installing laravel and uh, i'm going to use uh, composer to create my project and you can use this method as well uh, but i prefer this way because i have already this uh, composer package and uh, i do not uh, need this uh, installer okay so let's copy this line and uh, let me go to my workspace it's in desktop workspace uh, php storm let's open command window here press shift on your keyboard right click and then click on this uh, open powershell window here or if you have uh, git bash installed then you can just click on this uh, git bash here that's exactly what i'm going to do right now here type this uh, command and uh, let's call this uh, to check out laravel while it's installing laravel framework uh, let's go back to to check out documentation and here we can see that uh, if you want to integrate this in php then you can we can use this uh, php library for to check out let's open this and uh, this is the whole documentation how to send requests to to checker servers uh, using access token of a user's uh, card information now let's uh, open this project in our ide i'm going to use uh, php storm uh, you can use any text editor or ide of your choice let's uh, open project to check out laravel let's open it new window in app folder let's create a new folder and call it uh, payment and uh, let's create class here php class and call it cashier and of course you can name these classes any anything you want but uh, I prefer this name so that's why I'm creating this one in this class we are going to use this code um, this is uh, very straightforward uh, we have this uh, static function in cashier class and uh, in this static function we are passing uh, payment information that we will get from our user and after that uh, we are just uh, setting some private key our seller id and uh, we are making sure if this is a sandbox environment then we have to uh, you know pass uh, true to this uh, sandbox function let me show you this in documentation so if we search for sandbox you can see that uh, if we want to use uh, sandbox account then we have to uh, tell to checkout server that we are going to use uh, sandbox account so we have to pass uh, true here and uh, we are making use of uh, environment file just to control the sandbox environment in our environment file so that uh, 
if you want to use a sandbox account then we can just uh, turn it off and on in our environment file then we are passing our payment information and after that we are making sure if uh, our payment is uh, approved and then we will return response from this call to color of this method so let's uh, set up these variables in our environment file so these are some variables that you should set in environment file if you want to turn the sandbox environment off then you just pass uh, zero here and it will turn it off okay so how to get this uh, seller id and private key in your to check out uh, sandbox account go to api and uh, this is the private key and this is the your seller id okay perfect now let's include this to check out library in our project our application is ready so let's close this window open terminal in your ide and uh, let's copy this to check out yeah, this one okay type composer require not required require perfect now this error should be gone perfect we are going to create uh, api for this so open up api.php file uh, to you know work on api thing uh, before that let's create uh, our controller php artisan make controller and uh, controller name uh, you can name it anything let's call it uh, payment controller and uh, let's open this controller first payment controller and uh, let's uh, write uh, function pay and in this function first we will get request object and uh, after that we will call our cashier class this is the response that we will get from cashier cashier pay and then we will um, request info we will get this information from our client side okay address is equal to request address okay so this is info and this is empty array right now and uh, we will pass this info here and uh, if we go to to check our documentation we can see that uh, we have to provide these this information and then we have these uh, two address informations okay so let's uh, open this up again seller id can come from our environment file e and v and then to check out seller id and uh, merchant order id this can be id in your system it can be transaction id order id or anything that represent this payment so uh, for now let's uh, generate a random number here 
from 1000 to 10,000 there and uh, access token uh, will come from our request access token or you can call this token currency can be dollar and uh, we will make uh, 10 dollar payment okay and of course uh, this depends on your system what you are what you are going to do and uh, how much you want to charge your user and uh, after that uh, we will use this address and uh, shipping address will be same and this can be different too but uh, i'm going to use just one object uh, for shipping and uh, billing address perfect now um, if response has success if respond does not does not have success then we will return response uh, response will be message and message will be unable to pay please try again okay and uh, error code can be anything let's say 400 i mean it cannot be anything bad request is fine and if uh, everything is uh, okay then we will return our message successfully uh, let's use this in our API route cat and uh, it should be post let's say payment slash pay perfect and of course you can uh, add validation here but uh, I'm just going to leave it as, as it is uh, let's uh, find this server php artisan sir and uh, let's try to test this in postman 